Okay, it's working. Let's hit the record button. Hey guys, my name is Alex and thank you very much for stopping by. Really appreciate your visit. And this video is all about giving this kind of introduction to you for what I want to do in the next 30 days, which is solving 30 coding challenges in Ruby in 30 days. Well, and I'm doing this especially for folks who are just getting started, you know, for new developers, just helping the community. And the, another reason to be really honest is because I just want to validate my YouTube gears, you know, my lightning and the camera and the microphone because I'm kind of new in this YouTube world. And, you know, probably with your feedback, I can improve my upcoming videos. So that's it. And what is this about? Well, as I said before, I just want to solve 30 coding challenges in Ruby in 30 days. And uh, you might be asking, you know, why am I choosing Ruby in the first place? I have two main reasons. The first one is because I love Ruby. Yeah, that's it. And actually, I love all of the programming languages. But also, you have this amazing and simple syntax that even if you're coming from other languages like JavaScript or Python or Java, you will be able to understand all of the syntax that we're going to use to solve all of these problems. And to be honest, this is not about programming language or this is not about learning Ruby. This is all about problem solving skills and the concepts that you can truly understand, incorporate and apply those concepts in those concepts in the language that you like the most. So that's it. And this is all about logic and you know falling in love with the process of solving a problem. And by the way, by the end of the day, we are going to use Ruby to do that. And probably I'm going to record another series just you know solving the same problems with JavaScript or another language. What about the Ruby environment? Because that's not that easy, you know, to set up on your computer, you know, from scratch. Again, there is no excuses to not taking this course or series because as you can see here, I'm using this REPL website, which is a Ruby online compiler. Actually, you can use other languages here. As you can see, you can just go there and type your Ruby code, for example. So it's working or it's not working. Let's execute this one. And there you go, as you can see, it's working. So it takes just, you know, one second to go there and run your Ruby code. So that's simple. You don't need to set up a Ruby environment from scratch, which is amazing. And how does this course is structured? Well, first of all, I wouldn't say that is a course because, you know, I don't have a great workflow or a step-by-step -step guide. No, I just want to take, to get random problems and algorithms from the internet and I just want to solve them in Ruby. So that's it. But I would say that I have some uh, structures for the series. I have at least four main areas that I want to explore. Strings, arrays, hashes, and probably numbers. And you can take this series basically in two ways. The first one is that you can just go on YouTube and watch the series, that's simple. The other way that you can take is, I'm going to show you my, yeah, learning environment that I've set up, you know, for folks who just want to get some coding courses, as you can see here. And first of all, to be honest, this is a draft, so probably I'm gonna change all of these things based on your feedbacks and based on what I will learn throughout this journey but probably you can get some kind of taste of what I want to do here. So first of all, of course, you will get a lot of videos, you know, videos a lot, uh, you know, related to coding, related to things that I want to show you, uh, that I want to explore. And you have exercises related to these videos. You have some eBooks, at least small eBooks, because sometimes it's easier to just find the information that you want to find, you know, in these, uh, virtual paper and you have code snippets so when you are watching a video on YouTube it's difficult to watch the video and pause the video and write the, the you know the code and you're missing something you're missing semicolon and the code doesn't compile anymore and you go back to the video so that's not a great experience 
So as you can see here, we have an organized way to learn things. I have a newsletter, so please subscribe to my newsletter. I hope to send you a weekly newsletter uh, with uh, links and upcoming videos and personal blog posts and a lot of things that I'm learning in that specific uh, week. And you have this kind of track, which is a terrible name for a wrapper of courses related to so, for example, as you can see here, we have Postgres database track, which is a wrapper for a series of nine courses about Postgres. And I'm running out of track here, totally off track here, but I just want to show you, I have this kind of public roadmap, you know, a lot of things that I want to record. And as you can see here, let me show you here we have this Ruby track. So I'm going to record a series of four courses. If you are, you know, maybe interested in learning Ruby, the way that Ruby works, fundamental premises behind Ruby, this will be free, by the way. I just forgot to mention that. And you have in a data structure track, which is, you know, a course that you have a lot of data structures and algorithms, and we'll explore amazing problems there. And here we go. We have this Ruby coding challenges for beginners, which is a page for this specific series. So if you go here, you can register for free, by the way, you have the same things here and you have what we'll explore together. You have this, this is not a course, course description and some spoilers here. So as you can see, I'm going to solve some important problems coding challenge and you have 30 here oh yeah there you go so that's me and you have for example let's say that we are going to solve Fibonacci sequences or factorial so they are the most probably famous sequences that you you know learn and solve when you're just getting started in coding you have permutation problems and common numbers have you heard about that before and you have extracting random number you know a lot of amazing problems here so that's it i hope that you enjoyed this journey as much as i will and see you in the next video this is behind behind in 35 in 30 days <laughs> to solve 30 coding challenges 